Okay, well, wait, day 298. Pretty good, 298. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, after yesterday, I, uh, like my idea of the tattoo, my idea the idea of the tattoo so much that I drew it on my hand and I'm like oh god I really want it so now I really want it so oops um that's a mistake <laughs> but anyways um yeah to call my doctor again to make I thought it was going to be a online appointment Mr. Kitty Mr. Kitty mm. He's upset he no one cuddles him ever. Anyways, wait. Got a hole in my shirt. The heck? Anyways, yeah, this is my knit shirt. It's a ball of yarn with glasses on it. Anyways, it's a crochet shirt actually. Anyways, point was that I um I what was the point? Oh yeah, so I called again because they wanted me to call for Tuesday. Yeah, well, yeah. For today, I guess, technically. And, uh, I, I'm like, oh, okay. So I call them, and they're like, okay. And I'm like, this is online. And they're like, no, this is the appointment you just made is for in person. I'm like, oh. Okay. So now I have an in-person appointment, which sucks because I didn't want to have to go in person, but I don't really want to push it off another day, um, because I don't know if they have any appointments, and then also, I guess we should just get it taken care of, because I want it taken care of, so, um, I pushed it off, I realized my leg, my feet falling asleep, that has been happening oh, sometimes before my test I started testosterone. So six months. <laughs> and I'm like, it's been six months. Ooh. So um I'm like, yeah, I guess I should do that. So I'm gonna go to bed early as I look at the clock and it is not early in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, yeah, can you believe my shirt has a hole in it? Kind of rude, especially since I just stitched up like three shirts. Okay, two shirts and one pair of pants earlier. Rude. Oh, well, yesterday actually. I did it yesterday. I uploaded a video, right? Yesterday, right? I didn't like mess that up, did I? Yeah. Okay. I got paranoid for a second. Yeah, I, uh, uh... You know? And with my feet, they're like, it's probably nerve damage. But they want to ask me, obviously, one big way of getting nerve damage in your feet is diabetes. I have been blood tested. I do not have diabetes. But they always want to ask very nicely. Um, some people will ask, like, yeah, if you had blood work done i'm like yes <laughs> and they're like okay but then other ones are like you have to have been diagnosed with diabetes i'm like no because i can see i'm vile and i got tested recently um i'm like no i have don't have diabetes and um and then they're like mm, sounds like nerve damage and i'm like you know that's not good right like that doesn't sound good um so i uh you know? So anyways, I, I, whenever I call, they always ask, like, okay, well, this could be something more severe if blank. So they're like, can you feel if, like, you're touching the floor? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, can you feel if you have shoes on? I'm like, yes. And they're like, okay, okay. Can you walk? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, okay, good. And they weren't asked all together. Just each nurse asks. I guess to kind of roundabout way of like, okay, how, 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 
bad is it? I'm like, it's when I bend over or I stand on it, just like one leg. Um, I think my left is worse than my right, and blah, blah, blah. And, um, and when I say that, though, I believe it is. So a different thing, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, okay, well, do you, or you feel like you have fever? And I'm like, no. It's like, is your heart pounding, trouble with breathing? And I'm like, well, I have anxiety, so kind of. <laughs> and then, um, but I'm like, no. They're like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Are you throwing up blood? And I'm like, no. She's like, oh, okay, then you're fine. Come in on Tuesday. And I'm just like, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> because then I got too paranoid that what if I am bleeding internally and I just haven't thrown up yet. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, dude. Sure. Sure. Also, the 103 fever is like, or like something, something really high. Really high fever, they ask about. And I'm like, you would know if you have a really high fever. But I'm like, but what if I didn't? I'm like, you would know. You would know. So. I need to hop and skip and jump around and do some more stuff. Um, I've, I was always take a shower. I have clothes to put in the fold and put away. And, um, I'm going to bring a tissue box upstairs into my room, but not it. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight. Um, I just have like a little list. I want to get tattoos, but that is obviously a fun list, not a to-do list, but a fun list. But I still want it. My hand still hurts. It's not so bad when I lift it up though, which almost makes me feel like it's worse, <laughs> you know? Because it gets stuck when it's like down like in a when it's like by my side it will get stuck um but when i lift it up it hurts less and it doesn't get stuck and i'm just like so it's on and off so i can't wait until tomorrow when it does absolutely nothing ever <laughs> um and it's somehow magically fixed and i go home and it is no longer fixed <laughs> um there's a scientific reason for it blah 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 blah, blah science um yeah. Yeah, I saw a thing that somebody, which was really, this is about COVID, that really bothers me, where I was going through this person's page who was homophobic and I'm pretty sure transphobic and genuinely just not a nice guy. And I was looking at his stuff, as you do, but right before you block him, which I did. Um... I just don't want to see him. I don't want to see his comments. I don't want to see him. You act like... If you actively go and voice your opinion on a post about the LGBT community and being supported of them, why do you find, like, you're looking for this post to be nasty on? You know? It's like, why don't you just not? <laughs> so anyway, so I go to his page and I wanted to see how bad he was. Oh boy, he was worse. <laughs> but anyways, pretty much it, that's when I saw this one particular story of somebody that said that their sister, using I'm using better language than he did, or they did, I guess. But the way they spoke, he spoke about his um, sister, I'm, I'm assuming. And so what happened was, like, my sister... She was trying to do this. She was trying to rent a like a, a room for I think a wedding, her wedding, and she's always talking about like she's a I think a like left or she, I don't remember what he emphasized it on either really left or really um, Democrat or really liberal. I can't remember what word he said, but used a mixture of that word and insults and um and then it goes yeah you know they always talk about how you should always wear a mask and how you should be protect yourself blah blah and then the person renting out the room asked if anyone in the sorry i can't talk when he's talking can you give me that dude okay so what happened is um uh, 
It's like, and she was talking about, um, you know, how you should always wear a mask, but then when asked if she talks or anyone that's going to, anyone showing up to the reception, have they been in contact with someone that either has COVID or had COVID or possibly has COVID? And she said, no, apparently that's a lie. Apparently she was an ER nurse and she works with COVID patients all the time. But the point was for him that it's like, they lie, oh my God. And obviously, <laughs> screw her, like, no, don't do that. Honestly, yeah, like, I know it sucks and know some people already had it in motion. Like I know somebody who um, had a wedding planned uh, for the beginning of COVID. And they're like, oh, but what if I just have my wedding? And I'm like, Mm -hmm. You want to legally have that date? Fine, go to the courthouse, sign it. You want to have a reception for it? You want to have a party? No. No, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, no. No. So anyways, so um, if this is farther in, I don't know why you even plan it for that day. Just, I wouldn't be planning it, especially if I was an ER doctor constantly dealing with COVID, no. I, I wouldn't have a reception, I would not have a get-together. Mm. But uh, anyways, the point was that they were anti-maskers com and anti-vaxxers completely. And I was like, what are you arguing though? Like, she, what she did was completely wrong. If this was even based in reality, this was completely wrong. And I'm not surprised if that would happen. I know nurses um, I go into doctors all the time where they have their mask down here and I'm like, great, put, put, put the mask back on. I don't want to get sick from you and I don't want to get you sick. And like, let's, let's try to be safe here. But anyways, the point was that, um, that I'm not saying it's out of the realm of possibilities. Point was, I don't know them. I don't know if this story is verified at all. But what happened is that... If, if I heard that story, it just shows me that you, some people are selfish. You, they can preach and stuff about wearing a mask, but once it inconveniences them, they will do the same. Which is, yeah, yeah. Tell people, I know when my sibling's friend, uh, she didn't want to get a vaccine because last time she had a vaccine, she was in a hospital for like a month. And she just has a bit, like a weird reaction to that vaccine, and she got really scared and paranoid of vaccines, so she didn't want one. But she she already got her first shot; she's getting her second one. So what happened was that anytime we hung out with her, we the family had a co uh, consent to hang out with her, and she had a consent to knowing that there was a whole family. You know, it's like we can easily get you sick. Um, if we had it and because you're not vaccinated, but also you can have it and we can get it or could have it in our house or spread it. So we, we had to figure that out and, um, we would do it and we would be locked in the house for two weeks, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, just that whole thing. But what happened is... That this story makes me think, okay, well, you need to learn how to stop being two-faced. You have to stop being hypocritical. But this anti-masker, anti-vaxxer turned it around and was saying it as in, what? You shouldn't wear a mask and you shouldn't get vaccinated because some people lie <laughs> about being safer than they are which is such a ludicrous take <laughs> for me personally um i don't know i don't know i um somebody in texas ooh, texas ooh, a lot of policies that ooh, are not great I'm getting passed in texas um gun regulations and training and all that to um abortions and all ooh, not great just not not great um but what happened is um i know someone in texas and he works in a grocery store he's just not wearing a mask and i'm just like give it i don't know 
what levels you're at. Um, but dude, no, no, I'm good. People love making fun of people wearing masks um, that I saw, but honestly, it means nothing to me. <laughs> uh, but it's just like, I don't know, man, I, I won't. My mom has lung issues. I carry EpiPens. I get shot in the leg, get shots in the leg, uh, once a, or once every two weeks. I get once a week, I get shots in the arm. I'm okay without getting COVID. No, I'm good. I don't need that. I don't, I don't need it. Um, vaccine or not. I'm, I'm Gucci. I'm good. I'm fab boo without getting it. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. God, our world is oof, oof. Yeah, I would like to get out this too, Mark. Together. Yeah, I got my cousin sent, or my cousin sent my aunt a picture of himself to my sibling. And uh, he got his hair braided. And I was scared that he got, was cutting it because he decided to grow it out. But I don't know how to say that he needs to trim up his facial hair because it isn't like this. It's like, it's, it's, it's very sparse around here. I'm like, just trim it. Just trim it up. Make it look good and full. Also moisturize it. You have curly hair and your beard needs moisture. Uh, yeah. But bold talk, I'm terrified if I get facial hair and it's actually more than nothing. Um, I will not know how to deal with it. Yeah, my siblings made fun of my newly, oh, well, I guess not, my darkened leg hair because it got like th slightly thicker and darker and more. And uh, I haven't shaved for years, my legs. But uh, it's so funny because they're like, oh, wow, you got really hairy legs. I'm like, okay. You guys make fun of me for not having hair enough legs to match you guys, okay? But now suddenly I have leg hair and you guys are making fun of me for having too much of it. Rude. Obviously we're just picking on each other. Um, my sibling hates leg hair, body hair, um, completely. So she could not stand it. She, she's like, mm -mm, mm -mm, just the thought of, mm -mm, don't want it. I'm like, yeah, okay. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a sleep forever, forever, or until my appointment tomorrow, today, in a few hours. Yeah, one of those, one of, one of, one of those.